Hello everyone, in this video tutorial we are going to explain how to fix the error that might appear when you try to install Llama and PyTorch through a virtual Python environment. Namely, after you install Llama and PyTorch and you try to run a simple test program, you will get this error. Win error 126, the specified module could not be found. And you can see that the error comes from the fact that either this DLL file or one of its dependencies cannot be loaded. Over here is the script that I used and that produces this error. And the error comes from this part over here, from the importing PyTorch. So apparently the error comes from PyTorch and PyTorch is missing some dependencies. To be more precise, here is the complete procedure that I followed to install Llama. I clone Llama from Hugging Face then I created a Python virtual environment by using this command. Then I activated the Python virtual environment and then I installed PyTorch by using this command. This command is actually downloaded from the standard or the official web page of PyTorch by just following this table and by just selecting the proper options. Now, after that, I wrote a standard script that should start Llama and this is produced as the result. And again, here is the script. Let's learn how to solve this problem. The easiest method for solving this problem is to open Google and to search for Visual Studio C, C++. Now if you Google Visual Studio C or C++, you need to click on this link and do not click on Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is actually not a compiler it's simply an editor. You need to click over here on Visual Studio C or C++ IDE in Compiler for Windows. So click here and over here you will see this menu. If you're watching this tutorial, for example, after July 2024, some, something else might be changed here. However, you need to find the download button. So find this download button and expand it. So Community Edition 2022 is actually completely free. So click on Community Edition and over here you can see that the download pro process will start. After you download the file and you click on that file or you open the file, you will see this Visual Studio installer. You need to wait until Visual Studio installer completely completes the pro process of installing Visual Studio. So be patient. This might take several minutes depending on how fast is your computer. After approximately 10 minutes, Microsoft Visual Studio C++ is installed and let's see if the error is fixed. So let's go back to our terminal. I will start everything from scratch. Then I will go to my codes. Then let's see our folder. Here it is. It's Llama 31. Here it is. Let's go to this folder. Let's start our environment. Let's just verify that our environment is here. Here it is. And then let's execute the activation script. And the name of the script is activate.bat. Right now, if you're in the virtual environment, let's open our test file. Let's to make sure that the test file is okay. Here's our test file. So what this test file will do, it will import Torch, it will import Pipeline, it will load the model, and then over here it's going to define what type of model we want to do. That is, it will say that we want to use GPU computing, it will specify the model, the training actually, uh, source files or the model parameters, and it will also specify these parameters. And over here we ask a message, for example, let's ask how to solve a quadratic equation and let's see here over here this is a standard part over here we simply define the output we specify the message and we get and print the response simple as that nothing special make sure that this file is saved and let's try to run it hopefully the error right now disappeared let's hope bang let's see Good, so far so good, no errors. Let's see what happens right now. The model should be loaded. 
And you can see the model is loaded and you can see here the performance, the GPU is actually doing something over here. So that's the very good, very good thing, right? Okay, let's see, let's see, will the error pop up? Hopefully not. And over here you just see some warnings, so ignore them. Don't worry about them. And here it is. You can see the answer and you can see that Lama is giving a reasonable answer. In fact, this is a very nice answer since it gives two possibilities for solving a quadratic equation. The first one is factoring and the second one is actually to use the quadratic formula. Good! Okay guys, that's all for today and see you in the next video tutorial.